Get ready to scream, our movie critic Manny Franks dives into the newest part of the spooky saga, Scream 6. The characters are looking for a fresh start when they soon find themselves in the middle of a killer's bloody rampage. Scream as a franchise has been built upon the blueprint of the slasher genre, while proving to offer meta-horror commentary. Yet after six entries in this series, how many more times can you reinvent the wheel? What new scares are to be had? Well, in Scream 6, it all starts with subverting. Well, your already subverted expectations. The Scream franchise returns following the horrible murders in Woodsboro. To hopefully attain a fresh start, Sam, Tara, Chad, and Mindy move to New York City as they all try to cope with the traumatic fallout. However, the past has a nasty way of coming back. We share a certain history. Only this time with a vengeance. A new ghost face has apparently found them and will stop at nothing until they're all dead. Thanks to the subversive and dark cold open, the tone for Scream 6 is masterfully set as the audience will always be left guessing in a way that will have them looking over their shoulder. There are horrifyingly tense scenes that now comfortably sit at the top of Scream's anxiety-inducing thrills and gruesomely depraved kills. And while legacy characters do make appearances, it's the core new characters in Scream 5 and 6 that are more than worthy successors thanks to their infectiously natural chemistry. Now, Scream 6 attempts to add a thin thematic reading of family ties, both found and biological in the movie, but it's the charisma of the cast that truly sells what the script only considers to be an afterthought. It lacks any true, meaningful character arc. Although, honestly, going to see Scream for the emotional depth would be like going to see Michael Bay's Transformers for the love story. You can, but why? Scream 6 knows where its strengths lie, and it relishes in them. You would think that by a six entry into this franchise, the slasher would go stale. However, this semi-reboot, semi-sequel, a requel as it is called, Scream still proves to be an exciting and positively terrifying commentary on the ever-evolving horror and slasher genre. I'm giving Scream 6 a freshly cut, two approved. You can watch it only in theaters. Yes, I definitely want to see this. I went to see Cocaine Bear on Sunday and this was in the previews. Uh -huh. And I said, yes, another one. But looking at your face, you don't look too excited about it. I mean, I, I just, it, it's hard for me to get behind something that has like number five, number right. six, number seven. I honestly have only seen the first Scream. I've never seen any of the ones that came after it. Um, and I really liked it. I, I, I almost don't want to ruin my, my memory and my image of it. Mm -hmm. I've worn the Scream mask for Halloween before? Oh, really? never watched, Morgan. I have, but I've never watched any of the movies. Really? Manning was asking me about this. Uh, he said, are you a horror you know, uh -huh. fan? And I like scary stuff, but I don't know, I've just never seen the Scream movies. But after Manning's review, I might go, might go you, start. You have five more before you get to yeah. that. I got a long way to go. Just start binging them now. Um, I think it's been enough time since the last one for them to come out with a new one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will be interested to see how they just keep the storyline going to keep people interested. But since Manning gave it a two approved, right. it must be good. It is in theaters. I always take what he has to say to heart.